Teaching physical education during these times can be challenging for any number of reasons, from a lack of equipment to keeping students engaged. To meet the challenges, I turn to technology to create more dynamic classes that work for students with a wide range of fitness levels. Specifically, I chose to create a YouTube channel and what you've been watching are clips from the various units and lessons available on my channel. Not knowing how often I would see my students, I felt that putting myself in videos was the best way to connect with students, especially those I've yet to meet in person. What you're viewing now is me scrolling through my listed lessons on my YouTube channel. I suggest utilizing any space available to you as a set. So far, I've recorded at a public park, the Annex Gym, the main gym here at North. I also plan on eventually using the North tennis courts, the turf field, and the weight room. It's important to record as much content as possible. The more the better, to be honest. I learned that there is no such thing as too much content material with video editing. There's no need to worry about audio and sound while recording. You could create a voiceover during editing, such as I'm doing right now. I always start with a video intro to engage students. Each intro is specific to a unit. Personally, I found these to be fun to make, but a simple intro works just as fine. Editing is great because you don't have to record yourself doing a dynamic warm up or static cool down a hundred times. You can add these to each video lesson once recorded. For liability reasons, I thought it was important to add a safety and disclaimer statement, especially during these times. I recommend purchasing a microphone to record your voiceover content. I found one on Amazon for as cheap as 30 bucks. I post a new video lesson for every scheduled class via Google Classroom with a due date and time. I utilize Google Forms to create the lesson, collect student info, post the videos directly from my YouTube channel, and ask assessment questions. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm always glad to help. Thank you.